it's Jackie and today I'm going to share my March favorites with you guys and I'm super excited because I have some awesome, awesome things to share with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started with my beauty favorites. So a few weeks ago I posted a one brand only makeup tutorial featuring Drew Barrymore's flower line and ever since that I've been using her products a lot obviously since I bought a whole bunch of her products so I wanted to keep using them after the tutorial and I've fallen in love with some so I'm going to start with the flower products that I've been loving. So first is this Flower Raise Some Brows Defining Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. I've been loving this brow pencil because it's just so easy to use. I just like the way it looks. It's very easy and yeah. The next flower product I've been loving is Drew Barrymore's Lip Butter and this is the um, lip butter in the color Hot Honeysuckle and this color is just, I don't know, I love it. I'm wearing it today. Um, these lip butters, I mean this is the only one I've tried so I definitely want to try more but um, this one, this lip butter is just so creamy. I love the way it feels. I actually prefer this formula and this texture over the Revlon lip butters. However, they are very similar, but I do prefer this one a lot more. And I think the color is just so pretty. Um, the only thing is I'm not crazy about the packaging because when I do um, wear this and I throw it into my bag, like the cap falls off in like two seconds. Like this cap does not ever want to stay on. The last flower product I've been loving so much is actually a product, if you watch my review um, of the flower line, this one I said it was so-so, it was like a whatever product, but I'm actually really loving it now. Um, it's the Zoom In Ultimate Mascara, and this one is its pretty cool because, so you have your mascara and then when you turn it, it like curls up a little bit and then when you turn it even more it curls up even more so um, this first setting is for lengthening and then you twist it one time and that's supposed to curl and then you twist it again and that's supposed to volumize it's very similar to um, a mascara that I've seen from um, I think it's Calvin Klein I could be wrong but um, like that mascara is like super expensive and this one I can't remember the price but it's a drugstore so it's affordable I don't know if it really volumizes, maybe a little bit, but um, it definitely lengthens my lashes and I have been in love with it. Speaking of mascaras, um, I also recently picked up the Maybelline The Falsies. I know so many of you have tried it, so many of you have heard about this. I've never tried it before, um, so I bought it um, in March and I've been trying it out and oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. It is so awesome. I got the waterproof one, so I can't talk today, but I got the waterproof one and it's really hard to remove. So if you guys have any advice, let me know. But I love the way it applies. It really lengthens my lashes, volumizes kind of, but it lengthens my lashes so much and it curls amazingly. I don't even have to curl my lashes with this mascara. I love it. I feel like I'm talking fast and I'm running out of breath. But I also picked up another Maybelline mascara. I just wanted to show you guys this one, but it's the Rocket one. Um, I've been trying this out, not loving this that much. Who knows, maybe I might change my mind like I did with this guy, but um, so far I'm not really impressed with this one. I love the falsies though. So my favorite blush throughout March has been Pink Passion from e.l.f. and it's just this extremely, extremely bright, hot pink blush color and it's super, super pigmented. I'm wearing it today. I put just a little bit on, but this is definitely really pigmented and you can build it too. But I like these like, um, like the hot pink blushes because if you apply it lightly, I feel like it just gives you such, such a youthful look and I just, I really like it. So this has been a favorite and to go along with the cheeks, I've been loving highlighters. I, I always love highlighters because I think because I have drier skin. I love that really dewy, fresh look. So uh, as you can see, I have a highlighter now. Um, this is from MAC and it's um, the cream color base in the color Shell. People who have dry skin, they want that dewy look. If you have oily skin, this is probably something you don't want. But yeah, if you have dry skin and you love highlighters, even if you have oily skin and you love highlighters, I'd recommend the MAC Shell highlighter because it's so so pretty. It's like this pearly, I don't know, this pretty pearly shimmery color. So now moving on to skincare. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I have been trying out a ton of Michael Todd 
True Organics skincare products. It all started with the Honey and Oats cleanser, which is still my holy grail cleanser. I love it. I can't get enough. I've gone through bottles of that stuff because I love it so much. But that's my favorite. It started with that one, and because I loved it so much, I wanted to try other products because so many other people are talking about Michael Todd too. And I have two to share with you guys that I am loving. So first is the Michael Todd Blue Green Algae Antibacterial Toner. Fleur from Fleur de Force talked about this. Tati from Glam Life Guru talked about this, and I'm sure a ton of other YouTubers talked about it as well. Um, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome toner if you have occasional breakouts like I do. I don't um, break out a whole bunch, but lately I've been getting a few pimples, you know, here and there due to stress. So I've been using this, and seriously, it has gone overnight. I'm not even kidding. It's kind of magical. Definitely recommend this guy. And the next Michael Todd product I've been loving is actually my mom's. I took it from my mom because I just love it so much. So this is the Michael Todd K New Anti-Aging Facelift and I've heard so many YouTubers talk about this and I actually tried this out first when it they Michael Todd like first came out with this but I didn't like it because it felt too drying on my skin so they reformulated it and this is like the new formula and I've tried it out again and I love it so much. Um, I gotta get my mom some more because I seriously, I've used this up and it's hers. So I gotta get her some more of this. But um, I, you can feel it like lifting and tightening your skin, but it's not drying. So um, I think it's pretty cool how they were able to do that. Um, especially with me, you know, I have dry skin. Um, that was a concern. Like anything that like tightens the skin, I feel like, oh, that's gonna like, be really uncomfortable for my dry skin but this isn't sorry I've been using all of it mom I'm gonna get you some more I pinky promise <laughs> so now for my favorite youtuber of the month I'm really really excited to share this with you guys because I'm actually a part of it so let me tell you guys in case you're confused so my favorite youtuber of the month has been pop sugar girls guide and I will leave a link down below and the reason I am so in love with it is because they just launched and um, they're gonna have a bunch of different shows on their YouTube channel and I actually have a show on their channel. I'm so excited. This is like my first time really announcing it to you guys. Um, but I have my own show on the channel and it's called Lazy Girl's Guide to Beauty and I'm going to be showing you little quick tips and tricks on how to look fabulous in a flash. And I'm just, I am so excited and I think you guys are really going to love this channel because it has a variety of things. So like my show or my series is all about beauty. They have one all about fashion. They have one all about food. Um, they have one all about like entertainment, like gossip type things. Um, and they also have celebrities doing episodes too. So it's really exciting. Um, there's a show on there called Dear Danielle with Danielle Fischel, who if you don't know was Topanga from Boy Meets the World. I'm so excited. She has her own show. She is hilarious and I'm just, I can't believe I'm a part of this team and I'm so excited and I feel so blessed and I just, I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, I'm so excited. I just want to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart because an amazing opportunity like this would not have been possible without you guys. You guys, your love and support means so much to me and it's the reason I'm able to do what I do. I do YouTube videos for a living. I have these amazing other opportunities that come from YouTube and that's all because of you guys. So thank you so, so much. Um, I, I truly appreciate you guys a lot and I hope you enjoy these, um, the series that I'm gonna be doing on Pop Sugar Girls Guide. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Another favorite of mine has been Les Miserables. Um, I'm kind of obsessed. Um, my sister, both my sisters actually were in the high school production of Les Miserables. My sister Caitlin was Eponine and then little Ricky was little Eponine. It was the cutest thing ever. I cried so much because I'm just like, not only were the whole group of students so talented, but I was just like unbelievably proud of both my little sisters and uh, I could not stop crying. If you guys are obsessed with Les Miserables, let me know what your favorite song from the movie or the play or the musical. <laughs> I can't get it right. Let me know your favorite song from the musical. I think mine would have to be either On My Own because it makes me cry or A Heart Full of Love. I love those songs so much. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. On my own. 
Pretending he's beside me A heart full of love No fear, no regrets My name is Marius, no 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 And mine's Cosette Cosette, I don't know what to say Then make no sound so I think that wraps up my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I've been MIA on YouTube for a little, but I promise to be back to my Monday and Friday uploads. And yes, yeah, so let me know in the comments what some of your favorite beauty products have been. Um, it doesn't even have to be beauty, it could be whatever. Let me know what your favorites have been throughout the month of March. And I will see you guys on Friday with another video. Bye, have a magical day. Hey guys, it's Jackie and I gotta curl my lashes. Oh no. La 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 la. My favorite blush throughout the month. My favorite blush throughout the Marth. Marth? Oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? My favorite blush throughout the March. Throughout the March? What's wrong with me? Twice in a row now. My favorite blush throughout the March. Oh my gosh. Red, the color of desire. Black, the color of despair. That was my guy voice for you. <laughs>